Sorry about the technical difficulties. Now, I'm not sure what part I was up to last you saw me. So if you have made your way back to this stream, let me know what the last thing you saw me doing or heard, and I'll try and pick up from there. Um, but for the meantime, I'll just quickly recap exactly what we're doing today. So I'm Josh from Curious Legends, and this is a cardboard craft workshop sponsored by the Port of Newcastle. And we are creating theatre and craft workshops for kids in COVID-19 quarantine and, and trying to stay safe at home. So we're looking at story building and world building today. And the first activity that we did was drawing a map and identifying what kind of places are in that place and who lives there. So we designed a place with the interim name of The Land. And it has a swamp where ogres live. It has a lovely, normal place that the humans live in. It has a lava volcano place for the dwarves and a lovely forest for the elves. So once we finished drawing that, we started working on our castle. And our castle is made out of a cardboard box and it is featuring a drawbridge and the parapets of the castle and then we just taped all the sides of the castle together so it was nice and strong. Then we identified a few characters from the stream called Peach, Aurora, Og the Ogre, Spooky Spooky Head and Maleficent and I also started showing everyone how to make this awesome tower here and we decided that this could either be a lone tower or it could be part of the castle so what we did was we taped two toilet rolls together for our tower and I got everyone to cut out a circle before I started going into storyteller mode and the video died on us so if you've got your circle cut out I'd like you to take your scissors and Chop out a nice little slice of pizza. Cool. Now, with your newly eaten slice of pizza, you're going to take your two tabs and you're actually going to push them together. And now, you've made yourself a lovely cone shape. And before you do this, you might want to get some tape ready. It's much easier to have the tape ready than try and hold two things at once like I just tried to do. So my name's Josh, if I didn't say already, and I'm a member of a theatre company called Curious Legends, and this is our Out of the Box series. Um, next week, I'll actually be doing another workshop where I'm focusing on shadow puppetry, which is my main form of theatre work, and it's my jam, really, like, I love it. And I'll be talking to you about a little machine called a Cranky, which is another awesome storytelling device. And I'll also show you some really cool shadow art. So it doesn't just have to be moving images, you could just create a story with just an image, just a still image that can tell stories. So once you've made your cone that goes on top of your tower, you might think, hmm, I think, one, it could use some color, so you could color it in or draw a lovely design on it before you actually put it together, which I might do on one of these other ones. You might need a bit of tape to attach it to the toilet roll just so it doesn't fall off. So I'll just get a few pieces of tape ready. Now, again, I apologize for the technical difficulties earlier. I really hope a few of you who are watching have made it back over. Um, another big shout out and thank you to the spread magic not germs facebook group who have been hi again from brownie and Zayda on Ollie and Murphy welcome back guys awesome. sorry about that yeah that's awesome so I'd like to see in the comment section one can you see me two can you hear me and what was the last thing that you saw me doing on the last stream before it all went kaput so guys, normally Josh is the one back here. I take full responsibility. It's because Mitch is behind the scenes and it's crushed and burned. 
So we'll work on this for the next That's day. actually something <laughs> I forgot to mention. So um, stream 2.0, uh, Mitch is behind the scenes there. So everyone in the chat, please say hello to Mitch and say it's okay. We forgive you. Just don't let it happen again. Uh, <laughs> so what I've got here is a toothpick. And this will go in the top of our little cone to create a flag. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of tape and sort of ball it up so that it doesn't pull back through the hole. So it doesn't have to be pretty, just nice and messy because we're just trying to get ideas out into the world. Something a bit happier than all of the stuff that's going on lately. I messed that tape up really bad. Also another idea is to just tape the phone on to the toilet roll. So Ronnie's out Ollie and Murphy so we can see you and hear you. The last thing was when you were telling the story of the video. Okay, cool. And Catherine Griffin says we can see you and we can hear you. You're not invisible. You were telling a story when you were in Usable and you asked us what to call the lab Monster Land, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. So, awesome. Yeah, no, that's great. So you just missed the visual part of the story, which we'll tell that again soon anyway. All right, cool. So I've just sort of taped that toothpick into the top and we're going to take some of our scrap paper and quickly draw a nice little triangle shape on the corner. I'll show you what I did. Like this. Oh, fingers work. Like that, just a nice little triangle. And we'll chop that off, and that can be our flag. So thank you so much for finding us again, guys. That's great news. Now maybe you could tell us where you're from, or where you're watching from, and how old you are as well. It's awesome that you've given me your names. But, you know, it'd be kind of cool to know how old these little guys are, or how old you big guys are. So I'm just taping my little triangle flag that we just made onto my toothpick so that our tower is looking pretty schmick. And that will sit on top of our tower. And this will be an addition to our castle. Awesome. Okay, oh, Og the Ogre, that's right. So I'll go over that again. Because the video wasn't working when I did this, we made a bridge for Og the Ogre to live in, if you can't see that here. So what we did was we just cut a toilet roll straight down the middle, bent it out a bit, and then we had the perfect size bridge for Og to live on. Huh. Griffin is four and Caitlin feels like she is about 84. 84? Wow. Caitlin, I will never be able to tell the community that's how old you That's right, Caitlin, you're just 21 with like 60 years experience. That's what I always tell my mom. So, so Ravi is seven, Zayla is six, Orly is three, Murphy is our cheer squad of 18 months, and they are from Geelong. Awesome, wow. So I've just taped the cone very I roughly. Really agree with Kate, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just taped the cone for the roof of the tower onto the tower uh, roof, um, and I'm just going to attach this tower to the castle a little bit, just so it doesn't fall over on me. Okay, cool. So we've got our ogre bridge. We've got our tower in the distance. We've got our lovely tower for the castle. Now, another cool little trick you can do is actually decorate your tower or your castle with a texture. So I might do it on the castle actually, so it's nice and big. I'm thinking Princess Peach might like some roses, some bushes at the front of her castle, so I'm going to grab 
grain texture. And I'll unattach that for now. Just going to draw some little bushes onto our castle. So I'm just doing it very rough so you guys get the idea. Awesome. So there's my castle with bushes on the front. Now you might also like to do some windows on your tower. So we draw some windows for our tower. Awesome. Now another idea, like what I've done here, is actually to decorate the flag. So Aurora kind of reminds me of Aqua, which is like a blue color. So I gave her a blue flag. But Princess Peach reminds me of the Mario character. She reminds me of the fruit. So I'm going to give her a pink flag. So I'm just going to do some pink stripes on my flag. And that's that. Awesome. So I'll go over the whole activity again for the tower, just in case anyone did join us. So we take two toilet rolls and we take them together. We use some circle-y object to get a nice clean circle. And we cut a pizza out of it. A nice pizza slice. We take our two tabs and we fold them in on each other. And we take that so it's a cool little cone shape. And then we plop that on top. Then we take a toothpick and we put it in top of the cone and attach a flag. So we'll go over nice and slow and I'll just rebuild our tower. And then we might end the stream for the day. So next Tuesday, I'm going to remind everyone, Georgia Gaffney is going to be doing a workshop called Ibis Chickies and Bin Chickies. Oh, Bin Chickies. And Georgia will show you how to make a marionette version of the infamous Bin Chicken, the Ibis. So I've just taped these toilet rolls together so it's nice and tall. So Griffin is drawing green flags for the wobbly, bobbly, gobbler, no eye or octopus that lives in his castle. Hang on, wobbly, bobbly. Wobbly, bobbly, gobbler, no eyeball, octopus that lives in his castle. Wobbly, bobbly, goblin with no eyeball, octopus that lives in his castle. Perfect. That's great. That's amazing. Wobbly, bobbly, gobbly, do no, wobbly, bobbly, goblin. No eye. Octopus. Wobbly, 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 no eye, no octopus that lives in his castle. That is a tongue twister. I think we should use that. <laughs> wobbly, wobbly. <laughs> um, okay, cool. We have our tower. I'll do another one just so we can finish our castle. So we've got one, two. Oh, I need another two more of these towers. Cool, so I actually raided my bathroom on the on just before I left home today for all these. So they're all ethically sourced toilet rolls. No panic buying and wasteful toilet paper use was done for the making of this castle. Thank goodness, am I right? Awesome. So guys at home, I don't, a monster land is what we call it, but what about your location and castle? Does it come from monster land as well? Is it, a castle in the forest. Geez, that could be another workshop, Mitch. We could do cardboard tree houses. <laughs> um, or does it live in the volcano? That could be a cool workshop too. Maybe we could do a volcano. Like a science experiment. That would be pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> I just think I want to put Mentos in Pepsi and it'll explode. <laughs> And that's another point too, guys. If you've got any ideas of workshops, just send them through to us. So we've got our details up here. And you can just send us a message 
or even put them in the stream and we'll just write them down and if we go ahead with it, I mean, I'm sure we'll let you know that we're doing it. Of the ogre is a nice ogre. Oh, definitely. He has three eyes. Yep. His skin is pink and he has two fingers on each hand. Wow. So of the ogre could almost be like Princess Peach's knight. So I would love to see a picture of the ogre. Definitely, definitely. So so I'm imagining of the ogre is actually a knight in the land of Princess Peach. And he's actually like a protector. He lives under the bridge because he likes it there. But he goes out of his way to help wayward people uh, across the bridge and find their way to Princess Peach's parties. And that's exactly what happened to our Princess Aurora from our tower. And, um, yeah, Og the Ogre saved her from the spooky spooky head, which Griffin was telling us about earlier, who is the villain. I haven't found a place for Maleficent yet, so maybe... We need to find a way for Maleficent to come say hello. Perhaps in the chat you guys could give me a reason for Maleficent to come to our castle or to visit Og or to visit Aurora. So I've got the last three towers started and what I'm going to do now is make the cones for the top. So our lovely roof. Now you might find Light's cool. I want to decorate it. Go right ahead. You could draw little bricks and stuff like that on there if you like. So I'm just getting the tape ready early because I've only got one pair of hands to be able to do this. Awesome. Now I don't know if I grabbed enough toothpicks for this either to put more flags. So I might just do one more flag. One more flag. Ooh, itchy eye. Awesome. So, yeah, that's a, that's a point. Does it, where is your castle? Does it live in monster land like mine? Or have you got a different place that you invented for today's workshop? So, mine's really rough. I know, I know, I know. But it's good. You guys have got more time to show me your awesome ideas. Oh. So, we've just been told by Billy's family, Maleficent lives in the moors and she is chasing Aurora to put a spell on her, but Og stops her and gets put under a spell instead. Og gets put under a spell? Mm. Oh my goodness. So, Spooky Spooky Head is just a minion of Maleficent? Wow. I, I didn't know. So. I think, I think we might be onto something here, guys. So I'm just putting another cone on top. Spooky, spooky head. Maleficent. Aurora. Og the Ogre. Wobbly, gobbly, goblins. One-eyed octopus. Caitlin says Griffin's castle is in the spooky forest. Spooky forest. Excellent. So maybe spooky, spooky head lives in that castle. Are you building a castle for Spooky Spooky Head as well? So I've got one more cool tower roof to put on. So pizza slice. Goodbye pizza. And we fold our pizza slices in. Bit of tape. Bit of magic. Bit of hopes and dreams. And we have a roof. Awesome. So, what was the last little bit we did? Oh, right, we don't have enough flags. So, for our flags, we've got a toothpick, a scrap piece of paper, and we draw a triangle, and we cut it out. So, I have a triangle, I have a scissor, flag. Now we just attach that with tape like everything else. Let's get the tape ready first. Tape ready first. Oh! Oh, uh, hang on. Um, no, I was wrong. So, Griffin and Caitlin say, not spooky, spooky head. 
Will he not be goblin now our octopus lives alone with his pet spider? Now, is Mr. Spooky Spooky Head a pet spider, or does the pet spider have a different name? I think it's the, I think Spooky Spooky Head is the better. That's um, right, yeah. Will he not be goblin now our octopus <laughs> with his pet spider? That's right. Okay, so maybe we've just got one too many villains and characters. Um, okay, cool. So, what have we got? We've got a bunch of toilet rolls that we don't need anymore. And we've got a castle. We've got our tower. And we've got our bridge for Og. Oh, and our map to help us tell the story. So, let's tell a story. We've got, I'm going to use coloured textures to help me tell the story. So we've got Princess Aurora, we've got Princess Peach, we've got Og, the ogre, we have Spooky Spooky Head, and Maleficent. Okay, let's set the scene. We've got Aurora over here, Og here, castle there. So. So uh, Griffin says he didn't know what the spider's name is because he hasn't got a name. Maybe we could come up with a name for him together, or we could write a letter to. I suspect someone who's not that clear on how to use Facebook has just posted saying, hey there, I think you're selling a couch. <laughs> Strange, okay. <laughs> a couch. Right. Anyway, keep going. Yep. Um, story mode. Aurora is running away from Maleficent, who wants to cast an evil spell on her. So, ah! And she hides under a bridge. Maleficent loses her. Oh, where has she gone? Where has she gone? Where has she gone? She flies away. Out comes Og. Boom, boom. Aurora is terrified. She doesn't know what's going on. She says, please, Og, don't hurt me. Says, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm Og, and I'm a protector. She says, oh, really? I'm trying to find Princess Peach. And Og says, I'll take you. But out of nowhere, Maleficent comes along and turns Og into a nameless spider. Now, Gobbly wobbly, one eyed goblin, octopus, <laughs> um, walks along. Says, oh, what a beautiful little creature. Picks up the spider, takes him back to Aurora's castle. So now, both our villains, our villain from Princess Peach, has taken our Og, the protector, to the tower of evil that Aurora is running away from. And Maleficent has still, oh, has forgotten about Aurora and cast a spell on him and she's happy. She's like, ah yes, I did my evil deed for the day. Ha 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 ha. Princess Peach, standing on the parapet, says, Aurora, come quick. And she lets down her drawbridge. This is when Aurora goes, ah, and jumps inside. And then they have a nap and they work out a plan on how they're going to get Og back. So, the next day, they start walking together. La la la, la la la. They get to their bridge and they're very sad because they know that Og lives here. But he's not there at the moment. They have to go and save him. So they go over the bridge and they get to Aurora's castle. And Mr. Spooky Spooky Head is asleep. They snatch Og and they run home back to Princess Peach's castle where suddenly Maleficent's magic has worn off and Og is back to his normal self and they have a feast. The end. Awesome. Great. So that was my little story from The Land. Uh, sorry, no. Monster Land. Thanks to you guys for helping me out with the name. So I'd just quickly like to say again, workshop next week, Tuesday, Georgia, workshop Thursday next week, 
me, Shadow Puppets, gonna be awesome. Another thank you to Port of Newcastle for sponsoring the Out of the Box series. Big thank you to Mitch uh, for doing the um, back behind the scenes and saving the stream when it went down today. And also down below, and when we turn the camera off, there'll be a link to a place called Kofi. And that is where you could donate a little bit of money to us that, so we can go buy a coffee and think of more cool workshop ideas. So, bye.